On October the 5th, Scugog Council and staff welcomed our new CAO, Ken Nix. We gave a very warm welcome, and I know that the residents of Scugog Township will do the same. He's already fitting in well. He's a resident of Scugog Township, and we offer him a very warm welcome. Council met on Monday, October the 26th, and here are the highlights. Before the open session, we conducted a closed session, and we can report that during the closed session, we received updates for an expression of interest to lease the Curry Grain Elevator, known as the Old Mill as well as an update on roads maintenance, fire and emergency services agreement between the MSIFN and the township. We received the minutes of the advisory committees, the library board and the BIA. The speed limit review report and policy recommendations to reduce speed limits within Scugog limits was ratified. Limits will be lowered to 40 kilometers an hour, except for collector roads and arterial roads, which would remain at 50 kilometers an hour. As well, speed limits on rural roads would be reduced to 60 kilometers an hour. Community safety zones will be implemented, including mobile radar signs in Scugog. We all play a part in pedestrian and road safety. As we turn our clocks back and the weather turns cold, remember to please use caution when driving. Pedestrians and cyclists, please remember to wear reflective clothing. We are in the midst of budget planning. Staff will be posting a draft capital budget on Monday, November the 2nd, and will host a virtual public open house on November the 9th at 6.30 p.m. Please visit scugog.ca slash budget for information on how to participate. Remembrance Day ceremonies will be suspended this year due to COVID-19. Please participate in your own acts of remembrance. Observe a moment of silence on November the 11th at 11 a.m. to remember those who gave their lives for our freedom. Halloween is this weekend, and we know there are many wonderful alternative options for families to enjoy. Visit the Scugog Pumpkin Path this Halloween between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. to drop off your jack-o'-lantern to make up the path. Be sure to follow all health and safety guidelines for Halloween. Holidays are fast approaching, and I urge residents to remember to support our local businesses and merchants. This year, the BIA will be enhancing the downtown with extra lights to bring extra holiday cheer this year. And we thank all of our businesses for their work, serving the community and supporting one another. Council will meet again in November. Be sure to visit scugog.ca for upcoming meetings and agendas. I wish everyone a safe and happy fall.